Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to replace an outdoor spigot. First of all, you're gonna have to turn off the water for the whole house, on the outside meter, align these two holes and the water is off. Now we can drain the residue of the water from the house, we don't have much left in the system and we are ready to unscrew the faucet. But before we do so, I will let you know that not all the faucets are screwed in inside the wall. Some of the builders, they solder the connection and there is no way to replace the faucet without taking some bricks off the wall and redo the connection. I will also need to drill the concrete out in order to remove the obstacle that will be on the way of removing the faucet. Drill around the faucet till you see the faucet moving freely. In my case that will be enough. Now it's time to grab the adjustable wrench and unscrew the spigot. Adjust the wrench and slowly unscrew the faucet. And here is the reason why we have it removed. Clean all the dust from the hole. Don't blow it inside because everything can get inside the pipe and harm the installation. Grab a new faucet. Apply Teflon tape. By the way, all the tools and materials I'm using in this video will be linked in the description below this video. Do a couple of the turns. Three should be more than enough. I prefer also to put thread sealant on top of the tape, that will be an extra seal and also it'll ease up the process of screwing the spigot back. Now, carefully, without touching the walls, reach the thread inside the wall and screw the spigot in. Do as many turns as you can with your bare hands and then with the help of an adjustable wrench, tighten it up. In my case, I was able to do one more extra turn. Turn the water back on. And let's check our installation for leaks. Faucet is working fine and I didn't see any leaks from the wall. Now we need to fill up all the gaps on the top and on the bottom of the faucet. I'm just gonna squeeze some concrete mix that I made inside these gaps with my bare hands. And we'll call it a day. This is how final installation will look like. And this is the time for the last operational check. 